In this segment, we want to go over how to properly remove a very large, say four to six inch diameter branch from a shade tree. And the tools that we're going to need for this uh, are going to be a pair of leather gloves and a very sharp bow saw. Now, what we're going to start out with is we're going to show you how not to do this, uh, this project. And so we're going to start about six or seven feet from the trunk and we're going to use a single pruning cut to just illustrate what would happen uh, if we follow this uh, technique. As expected, this was the result. There was far too much weight on this outer branch for me to handle by myself, and we've certainly made a mess out of this uh, pruning cut. So it clearly illustrates that this type of pruning, a single cut uh, on this large of a branch, is just the wrong approach. Our situation is also uh, complicated in that we're trying to remove this branch once the leaves have emerged, and they add a great deal of weight. So ideally, it would be easier to do this, perform this operation when the plant was, the tree was dormant. So there's be less weight on these branches. So now let's go and illustrate what would be the proper way to remove a larger branch from a tree. And it's going to involve three separate cuts. So let's return to our branch on this shade tree. And what we're going to do is start about 15 inches away from the trunk. And our first cut is going to be from the underside of the branch, and we're going to cut upwards. So this is cut number one. Now that we've completed the first cut, which we'll call the undercut, we're going to make a second cut about one inch further out on the large branch. So notice we've just completed the second of our three cut process for removing a very large branch off of a tree. And notice how clean this, this cut is in contrast to what we did earlier. And now we also have a much smaller piece of branch to deal with, much less weight, and so it's going to be much easier for us to, uh, to handle. So we've got one more cut to make in this three-step process. And now the final cut is going to be a very nice clean cut closer to the trunk. And I've illustrated where we're going to make the cut using chalk. And this area is called the branch collar. Just think of the collar on our, on our body. So this is the area that kind of uh, separates the trunk from this branch. And remember, our objective is to remove this branch. So we want to stay outside, outside of this branch collar area, which again I've highlighted using chalk. So let's take our saw, our bow saw, make one small undercut below this large branch. So when it does separate, there's a very clean cut. So we're going to go to the underside of this and we're just going to do a small undercut just to cut through the outer bark. Again, we're trying to keep track of the chalk mark that we made initially for our cut. So we've just completed the process to properly prune a large branch from a shade tree, and it involved three separate steps. But notice that our final cut has left a very nice clean cut. It followed our chalk mark very nicely, so we cut just outside of what's called the branch collar. So the final question we're faced with is should we cover this pruning cut with pruning paint? And the answer, based on many years of research, is no. We do not need to cover this uh, uh, pruning cut area with pruning paint. 
So hopefully you'll have as much success in removing a large branch from your tree.